JJK264 leaks have started and this shit is already bananas. So sit down, strap in, spoilers beware, and let's get into it. So the chapter begins and we are right where we left off. The first page is just four big panels of Angel, Sukuna, Toto, and Yuji's face reacting to this Jacob's Ladder that's going out. Sukuna then punches the ground in order to create a bunch of debris and rocks that go flying up into the Jacob's Ladder. And then he literally parkours off the rocks as he's climbing up up towards Angel. Sukuna thinks to himself, if I run up Jacob's ladder, I can reach her. And then the narrator lets us know that this Jacob's ladder is much larger than the one Yuta used on Sukuna, because there he was using his domain sure hit effect. But this Jacob's ladder is big enough that it's hitting both Yuji and Toto as well. Next, as Sukuna is parkouring up to Angel, he's thinking to himself about how he can't produce as much output as he had previously. Plus, he's down a couple arms, and this Jacob's Ladder could save Megami, so he needs to act. So he rocks up to hit a Black Flash on Angel, but at the last second... Toto shows up and takes the blow for her. He gets slammed by Sukuna's Black Flash, and both Toto and Angel get sent flying. Now he's seemingly okay, but he literally crashes through a building and both he and Angel are just like collapsed in some rubble. And Sukuna is impressed that Toto was even able to show up in that moment. Sukuna looks toward Toto and says, you're paralyzed for now and I can worry about Angel's incarnation later. All I need to deal with is the brat. And as he says that, he turns around and sees Yuji parkouring up the rocks the same way he did. Yuji tanking the Jacob's ladder damage the entire way, just so he can get his get back on Sukuna. The next three pages are just the two of them throwing hands, and Yuji is going absolutely in. He is manhandling Sukuna at one point, grabbing him by his legs and swinging him around. Yuji is also using his version of cleave and dismantle, and they are just going head to head. But then because of the black flash Sukuna hit on Toto, he regains his output and has RCT again. So he heals himself and now has all four of his arms again. We then get two more pages of them two throwing hands and going back and forth, but Sukuna is able to more easily defend now with all four of his arms, and he thinks to himself that now that he doesn't have to fight Gojo and take all of those high risks, he can easily regain his RCT and his domain expansion. Two more pages of all gas, no breaks. They are continuing to go back and forth, and Yuji is trying to get in cleaves and dismantles where he can. And Sukuna acknowledges that Yuji's soul punches do hurt and will deal heavy damage, but they're useless if they can't actually hit him. And again, with all four arms and regaining his output, he is getting better and better at defending. We then get a flashback to this exact scene where Gojo and Yuji are in Jogo's domain and Gojo uses this as a teaching moment for Yuji to explain to him what domain expansions are. He says they are the pinnacle of Jujutsu and consume a ton of cursed energy. They also give you a general stat bonus and oh yeah, one more thing. You also get a sure hit effect on your technique. And we transition back to Yuji in the present who is making domain hand signs. And it's not entirely clear, but I think the hand sign is both hands clasped together and just the middle finger up, but it might be the index finger. Yuji says domain expansion, and then we are reminded that he mastered barrier techniques due to his swap training with Kusakabe. We then get a panel of just Sukuna's eyes like in shock, and it's this version of his eyes, Yuji Sukuna, not Heian era Sukuna. We then see that this version of Sukuna is like sitting on a bench in a train station, and Yuji is also there. So they're both there, and they both look like Yuji. So Yuji walks up to him in this train station with like a shit-eating grin on his face and is like, let's go, bro, and Sukuna is just looking there like, what the hell is happening? And that's where the chapter ends. Are you kidding me, man? What a cliffhanger. Is that Yuji's domain expansion? That seems to be like the most likely, but it could also be like his own version of the airport scene like we saw with Gojo. It's very interesting that he's in Yuji's body again. So like, is this in Yuji's innate domain? It would make sense because, you know, his domain expansion is the bringing forth of his innate domain. So I still think that's my best guess for what's going on right now, especially the lead up to that moment where Gojo was talking about getting the sure hit effect. And right before that, Sukuna was talking about, yeah, Yuji's punches are a problem, but not if they don't hit me. So now Yuji pops the domain, gets that guaranteed hit, and here we are, right? But like, what is the guaranteed hit of his domain? Like, you would imagine it would be somewhat shrine or blood manipulation related, but 
Maybe not, you know, maybe it's got something to do with the soul. So, so many questions, again, insane cliffhanger, but the good news is we are not on break next week. So we will have 265 in a week. And man, you guys know I can't show the panels, but please go look these up because like I said, it was just like six to eight pages of just straight hands. Yuji just tanking the Jacob's Ladder, parkouring up to get his get back on Tsukuna so satisfying and he was just laying out these cleaves left and right the boy is a prodigy it's crazy how quickly he's learning and of course the domain expansion which again the implication there was that he unlocked that via his training with kusakabe but i'm curious it still seems like right now is like his first moment of doing it which again if the domain is involved with shrine that would make sense because he only unlocks Shrine in this battle. But if his domain is related to some other phenomena, then maybe he did figure out how to do the domain prior to this moment. But that would beg the question of why didn't he use it earlier? So I think he probably just now unlocked it. And again, the middle finger hand sign, if that is what it is, just bravo. And sorry if I'm kind of jumping all over the place. I'm just trying to like run through these disjointed thoughts. But Sugana did mention with Toto paralyzed. But again, this is leaks. Translations are rough. So I don't know if that means like Toto is actually paralyzed or if Sugana was just saying like, you're out of commission. So I don't need to worry about you anymore. But just what a beast, man. Tanking that Black Flash for Hannah. Absolute legend. I love Toto so much. He better not be paralyzed. And then I gotta mention, for those of you that saw my Gojo video from yesterday, talking about, you know, his potential comeback of this window where he can help his students, the fact that this Jacob's Ladder was explicitly mentioned to be hitting everything in the vicinity, unlike Yuta's, that is interesting, right? Because maybe the Jacob's Ladder is hitting Yuta Gojo, and who knows what effect that might have. Again, watch my video if you haven't seen it. It'll explain more. But the other side of that coin is things seem to be going well for Yuji right now. He just hit the domain expansion, right? So I have never been one to want Gojo to come in and save the day and steal the thunder. No, I just want his character arc to complete. So I think he could help and have that moment, that window before he fully passes on to do something. So, you know, is there still space for that if Yuji is kind of having his moment? And I think yes and no. So to be clear, don't want Gojo to come in and steal the kill from Yuji, but I don't know if I really expect Yuji to like end everything right here. Feels like there's still too many shoes to drop, especially with the merger still looming overhead. So whatever's going on with Yuji and Sukuna in that domain, I don't expect it to just be end game for Sukuna yet. And actually, if this isn't the end for Sukuna, then they are still kind of in a bad spot considering he just got his RCT back and talked about having his domain fully back soon too. But you know what? We got time to think about that. We'll see what happens. For now, this was just an all-time Yuji chapter. Our boy is really coming into the MC shoes and you love to see it. The domain expansion. We've been waiting the entire manga for this. So I cannot wait until next week to find out more. For now, I'm gonna let these things marinate. Y'all hit me with your thoughts in the comments, and we, of course, will be making videos and talking this week. So I will see you then.